her days were filled with harmony In the hymns her mother played There was reverence in that farmhouse A firm foundation had been laid uh, you know, Nikki, your your question about just like where are we seeing the impact of kind of still a male-dominated world in jazz, especially, but also in all fields to a large degree still, um, and just how how we feel it um, as women in jazz and as mothers in jazz. One thing that's really interesting for me um, when I am organizing tours, because I am still, you know, we we all probably book our own bands and. Um, I would imagine many of us coordinate the details around flights, hotel rooms, et cetera. The amount of planning and emotional energy um, above and beyond that which most of us would already experience that goes into all that work to then consider, okay, if I'm gonna bring my child on the road, <laughs> who of the players that I've been working with in various regions, you know, I mean, if you're lucky enough to bring your band on the road, that's great, but then you also have to consider how are they going to feel about having a child in the mix? Mm. Because touring in the best of circumstances is hard for everyone. And for me, you know, we're about to go to Europe for two weeks and there's so many factors. So Josh is 11. So we're in dialogue with his school and his teachers. Can Joshua afford to miss two and a half weeks of school? How do you feel about that? You know, and so first step is getting you know, Joshua, knowing that Josh wants to go and because he's 11 and actually from the age of three, if you can believe it, we involved him in that decision making process. <laughs> we felt that he had to have ownership of those decisions if we were going to be dragging him all over creation. And that has been amazing for our family trio, just to be checking in with one another and with him and giving him a little bit of a say, which sounds crazy. Um, but, uh, you know, so that is a piece for us of, of the picture. And then, you know, and then the next stage is like, okay, what are the costs of bringing him along now that he's 11? What is our room configuration going to be? Um, and as a singer, it's especially difficult if you're not sleeping and you're performing night after night and traveling. So that's a factor. But then to go back to the question of like, well, who do you hire? I mean, I, I really, I wish I didn't have to, but how amenable my bandmates are to having a child with them on the road <laughs> and um, how that impacts them. That That's a big factor for me now when I choose my band and mm -hmm. it adds another layer of complexity, you know? Um, and I'm grateful that by and large, my, my male bandmates have been supportive and okay. Um, but I also do a lot of work to contain Josh when we're on the road and to give my bandmates space and, you know, it is, it is a lot to juggle above and beyond that which we already have to juggle. So I'm curious if anyone else has that same experience um, where they feel like they have to be especially mindful of how their child, not only their child's needs being met, but how their child might be impacting the needs mm -hmm. of bandmates and, and adults. <laughs>